Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. In this video, we are going to talk about feng shui, feng shui, my favorite subject, one of my favorite subjects in the world. I've been practicing feng shui for over 35 years. And in this video, we're going to focus on our career area. And I'm going to take my camera and put it down on my little Bagua map. And I've also not, my writing is horrible. Forgive me, child. Um, but I've also made this Bagua available for you guys. So you can just click I think the icon is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be over here or over here. You know, I get confused. You know, you'll see the little circle and it's on my website and you can just download it for free. It's just, you know, just something I drew out what I'm using here right now so that you can follow me and you can have something to jot down some notes to see where your career area is located and take some notes on some changes that you can make. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings, this is a Bagua and each section of the Bagua is called a Gua which represents a certain part of your life. Now every room that you enter has an energy. So every room that you enter in your home has a wealth area, a fame area and so forth and so on, right? Now you also can overlay this map over your entire home or apartment. So it's like there there are layers. You can even use this map for your desk, okay? So right now for this particular for this video, we're going to focus on your career area. Now I want you to remember with um, black hat feng shui, I'm just gonna call it feng shui from here on out. We always enter either in the knowledge area, our career area, or our helpful people area. And remember, this is the area, this portion of your Bagua is always close to your chest. So depending on where your door is located, so just imagine if you walk into your bedroom or to your apartment or your home, just, uh, uh, just overlay this rectangle map over the, the home as evenly as you can. Now, this your career area is always in the center. So let's just say you walk into your home and you maybe you have to there's a wall and then you have to turn in in order to get into the house now i would say that as soon as you walk in the main entrance of the home then i would consider that the entryway and you can still use this format so we're going to focus on the middle section right here this is the area that's responsible for your career, your soul's purpose, your path in life, what you want to do, like if you want to market your business, if you want to start a business, if you want to find a new career, this is the area that you're going to work on. So now I'm going to turn my camera back up and I'm going to share with you some of the enhancements you can make to this area of your home so that you can live the life of your dreams. So now we're talking about the career area in your feng shui bagua and and we're going to I'm going to give you some tips on how you can enhance this area so that you can find your dream job or figure out what your path in life is, follow your dreams, follow your bliss, you know, start a new business. Yay! That is what this area is for. The element for your career area is water. Now you can put a fish tank in this area. Um, you can put pictures of water. Now a waterfall, a little water fountain. These are all good elements to add to this area. But I want to caution you about water. So let's just say for example, you place like a big waterfall in this area, even though the element is water. Well, if the waterfall is really huge and it's coming down, you know, even if it's a pitcher, what will happen? Right, you can drown, right? And if you put too little water, things are muddy and then you're stuck. So you don't want to be stuck. So I would say, um, when you look for a photo or if you're looking to enhance 
this area with water, just think about uh, what feels good to you, okay? Because I have in the past put a big waterfall and I felt like I was drowning. And for some reason, I wasn't prospering. It just seems like I was just getting a whole bunch of busy work and I wasn't making any money. And I was like, oh my God, this dang on waterfall. So you want to be careful of the the amount of water so you can depict and water can be represented in mirrors uh, you can but if you place a mirror in your career area make sure that you it is at eye level so when you see the mirror you, you're looking and you know you can see yourself you don't want to have your body cut off because it's like cutting off opportunities I know this all sounds maybe a little far-fetched to people but I promise you okay let me just keep going because somebody, you know, I, I'll tell you about this. So you can use beads. You can use crystals. Um, I'm trying to make sure. Oh, anything that represents water such as um, seashells and starfish. Also, I think one of our fountains, mirrors, crystals, glass. You can also have quotes and affirmations about, you know, being successful and being courageous and going after your dream. Um, like I said before, you can have, you know, you can put a pool, anything, real water or symbolic images of water are all good. But make sure that it is something that feels like it is going to be auspicious for you. Now, the... The water area in our career is supposed to be like a meandering river, which is supposed to be of the river of our destiny or of the path to our dreams. So a river is nice, but make sure the water is moving. You don't want still water because still water, what does that mean? You know, you want something that's, that has a really nice flow. So finding the perfect type of water for this area can be pretty daunting now if you don't want to put water in this area you can use the color black black represents water and feng shui black works really well for me so um in the past i remember i i took i had like a a table or bookshelf in this area i put a black I think it was a black cloth or a blanket over it and then I'll put crystals like in a bowl and then you want to put right down like your ideal job like what it is that you want let's say for example well, let me give you a story this is a quick story um, I wanted to work for a newspaper I had never worked for a newspaper before I was probably like in my late 20s at the time so there was um, I just you know I took a picture of the the um what do you call it the mask head or of the newspaper and i put a picture of myself like you know like i had a column i actually had a column and but i manifested these things so i had a picture of the newspaper with a, um, a picture of myself and an article that i had written and um i had images that portray me as a writer writing for the newspaper and I mailed off a letter this is so crazy it wasn't even professional but I got the job on the spot I mailed um, there was a guy on a boat that said sometimes you can't wait for your dreams you have to you have to go out and get them or that it was a quote with something like that it was a picture and I put a picture of me on top of the person on the boat under the you know I have the little quote sometimes you have to go out and get your dreams and I told them that I always wanted to write for a newspaper I put some articles in there that I had written and um, they called me and I started to work immediately but um, so that was some things those are some things that I did to manifest my job at the time working with the uh, Michigan Chronicle newspaper so some other things you can put in your career area are items that represent the career you want to go into. So let's just say that you want to be a doctor. So you might want to put a stethoscope there or you might want to put a briefcase if you want to go into business. If you, um, whatever you want to do, try to find an item that represents that. I remember, now this tells you how old I am, but I remember when I was looking for writing jobs, I put a typewriter in my, um, in my um, career area. Now, 
water is the element, but metal is a supporting element. So because metal holds water. So you can have you can have images or things in your water area, um, such you know, like a, a metal. Well, let me see if I have it. I actually can't. Let me see. I don't know what I did. Right there. Oh, can't believe I put my hand on it. Okay, so this is a. I think this, this is a card holder. So this is a metal card holder, and metal is like I said, it holds water. So this would be a good item to put in your career area and you could put like your business card with the company's logo and with your name on it that's some I'm telling you that is some powerful feng shui there um, you can put like any like I said any type of metal um, circles also represent metal and feng shui so you want to put circles in the area because again circles remember metal holds water I'll go over the cycles of the different elements but I don't want the videos to be too long or too complicated and one thing I've learned is sometimes if you cover too much information people don't get anything out of it so let's just I'm just gonna stick with the basics so um, the colors are, are black and dark tones so like navy blue or dark greens but if I were you my personal experience dark navy blues are pretty cool and black is cool some a lot of different feng shui books say some people say you can use any color as long as it's dark like even if you use like a deep maroon or but for me personally I don't know those things didn't work for me so I, but black has been very auspicious for me very I've had very good luck using the color black more so than actually using actual water so like if you go to the craft I think the the floral area like in a Walmart um, you'll see those little bees I thought maybe I had some with me um, and those put those like in a little fishbowl that represents water but um, there is one other thing I want to tell you oh child do not put squares in this area because squares represent earth and feng shui and earth and water creates what I know, right? Mud. You do not want your career to be stuck. You don't want the color yellow either because yellow represents earth. Now, you don't want to get like super crazy. Some other things I want you to think about is your door. Like so, even like let's just say your door is in your career area, but it doesn't matter if it's in your career area or not, but a door that doesn't open properly stuck, right? Your opportunities are stuck. You want to make sure your door opens um, completely when you walk into your door in your career area when you look in this area like right in the center square of your home or apartment or your room what do you see is there a lot of clutter is it clean is it organized are there things there that represent who you want to be and that's another thing too you want to have posters of people who are um, doing what you want to do or people that you admire um, items for the type of career that you want so let's just say you want a YouTube channel so you can go ahead and you know create like a fake thumbnail or maybe I'm sorry not fake use your thumbnail and just put it in your career area or maybe you can put like um, your subscribers or whatever guys you can get really creative you know sometimes people put their pictures on like magazines or you know like it's you create it yourself but you it's a reminder to you every day of what it is you want to accomplish um, so you want to have any items symbolically or otherwise of your ideal career you want to make sure your doors open you want to make sure the area is nice and, clean. and one last thing I want to tell you is that I you know I like to I try to be as honest as I can be you know I'm a human and I have found from working with feng shui just in general with every single area whenever I make a change usually there's always it appears that something bad happens or there's a retrograde before it propels itself forward so let's just say you start working on your career area and you get fired from your job now that actually happened to me okay I was I started working on my career area I was very clear I didn't know for sure what I want to do with my life but I always tell people try to think about how you want to feel 
think about how you want other people to feel. If you want to, like I said, if you if you want to work as a counselor or you're going to work with people who are depressed. And you, it may sound fun, but after about a year of it, it may not be that fun. You know what I'm saying? So how do you want to dress? What type of environment do you want to be in? Do you want to travel? Do you want to work nice? Do you want to have a flexible schedule? Do you want to work from home? These are the type of things. Do you want to talk? Do you want to, do you like using your body, your hands? Like, think about what you enjoy, how you want to feel, especially if you don't know exactly what it is you want to do. And you want to affirm, I am in alignment with the perfect career for my soul. I am, you know, something along the lines of, I am now in receipt of instructions for my next assignment for my you know, evolvement in this lifetime, you know, things like that. Another thing that I have found too is that, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing this video for the person who's a seeker. Sometimes you, you find yourself, you know, addressing the critic in your head, the person who is doubting you, but this is not who this video is for. This is for people who are looking for a change. They're looking. Another thing you can do is this is a clear quartz quartz crystal. They're pretty um, inexpensive. You can charge this crystal with your intention to find your divine purpose and carry it with you. And again, oh my God, every time I find myself using my crystal, you know, asking for my divine purpose to be revealed to me because you might find that you were a teacher but you're no longer you know you don't want to teach anymore or maybe now you want to start your own business like your when your heart starts to yearn that means that your soul is trying to evolve and that there are other things that you need to do and so um <laughs> In, in charging a crystal with the intention like first you want to clean it with sage just burn the sage or you if you have a singing bowl um, clean your crystal hold your crystal I always kiss my crystals I love my crystals so much I'm sorry and um, you just say I am in alignment with my soul's divine sublime plan for wealth and success and prosperity I am utilizing my gifts to enhance the lives of others with grace and joy you know so you hold your crystal and you carry it with you every day and you start looking for opportunities another thing you can do for your career area is um, buy a metal wind chime and you want to hang it in that area and it actually i have some beautiful wonderful wind chimes so that we will bring in some opportunities as well so you want to sift through the opportunities that come through come through to you so let's just say you are uh, in your current position you love your job but you want to be promoted so if I were you I would work a little bit with my um, what is it my helpful people so again we're talking let me see, can I get this in focus? All right, so we're talking about the career area right now so that I don't have the whole thing in focus. And then let's say, but you say, look, I love where I'm working. I just wanna, I just want to um, get some help to be promoted. So you might wanna look in some help in this area, which the color is gray, the element is metal. So you might wanna put that person's name like in a metal box, like your boss or supervisor, um, because you want them to mentor you. But let's just say the people there, maybe they don't like you. But then you might want to also enhance your, let me find my love area. Yeah, I want to get to pull this out a little bit. So you might want to enhance your love area, which is over here. And you might, because your love area is not just for romantic relationships, it's for all of your relationships, okay? So if you want to have good relationships with your colleagues or with the people you work with, with your customers, you might want to write their name on pink paper and say, I, I have a wonderful relationship with this person. So when you're thinking about your career, Oh, also, like if you want to be promoted where you currently work, you want to work on your fame and reputation area. Because your fame and reputation area is how other people perceive you, and it's directly across from your career area. So this is your career area, and then right 
in front, like, is your fame area. The element is fire. So, do you have a leaky um, faucet in that area? Uh, what areas do you have in your fame area that may represent some things about you not that you're not aware of? So, if the element is fire and you have water that's leaking or let's just say you have your fish tank in that area or do you know what I'm saying? What is the area where you want to put like your, you know, business degrees and but I don't want to talk about fame in my career video because I'll talk about that in the next, you know, video because I want to keep things a little bit organized. I'm just saying that you might want to enhance your fame area as well, which you really have to do with your reputation and how people perceive you. So I think I have covered the basics for your career area. Over time, I'll probably, you know, update things and add things and make it a little bit more polished. But I just want to make sure I just get this information out there. I really hope this information helps someone. Please don't forget that I have provided this poorly written, but <laughs> but I wanted to get started um, chart for you to go ahead and start feng shuiing your home to bring about the life of your dreams. Please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe if you have not already. If you have, thank you. I really appreciate it. I thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.